Hello. Today is day 32 in an adventure in the book of Romans. Today we are reading Romans 10, 16 to 21. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not, and I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel he said, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Even though God has sent people to preach the good news of the wonder-working power of Jesus' blood shed for them, some still do not believe. This means they have been disobedient to the good news. We should react and be thankful for what God has done for us. What do I mean by react? We should just be thankful that God sent us and gave us this opportunity. That's our reaction. We should be thankful. What's interesting in the next verse is how. How the gospel is to be preached is key. It must be through the preaching of his word. You can share the good news of the death and resurrection of Jesus, but for it to be effective, we must share God's word, the Bible. We must give much more attention to memorizing scripture. We must embed God's word in our life to get the message of his love out. The Jewish people had the law, the Torah, the prophets, the Navim, and the writings, the Kethubim. And they had heard it so often it became ingrained in them. So what reason do they have for not believing in the Messiah? God sent to them. Paul says they are disobedient to the good news. Paul, the good rabbi, shares with us scriptures that show God foretold of this. He knew this and shared it with his chosen people, the Jews, but still his hand is stretched out to them. We must become concerned about those who do not know Christ. We must take it upon ourselves to share his love with them. We must live in such a way that they ask why our lives are different and seem better. We must fill ourselves with God's word in case an opportunity arises to share and preach who Christ is in what he has done for us. Dear Lord Jesus, you offer us so much. You watch over us and keep us safe. Lord, help me to place your word in my heart. Help me to not only memorize it so that I may live it, but help me to keep it in my heart so that I may share it to share your love with others. Prepare me, Lord, that I may be used of you to share your word. In Jesus' name, amen.